Problem 14. Final problem, the culmination of everything you've learned. Ah, so exciting, so exciting. All right, a solid conducting sphere of radius two centimeters, two centimeters, has a charge of 6.72 microcoulombs, a conducting spherical shell of inner radius four centimeters and outer radius five. Ah, ah I see what they did there, that's clever. Is concentric with the solid sphere and has a charge of negative 3.8. 3.18, find the electric field at the following radii from the center of this charge configuration. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is draw a picture. And I'm gonna use my sphere generator. Hop, hop, sphere. Sphere powers, activate. Nope, <laughs> nope, I, I'm all sorts of failing there. Ooh, maybe I didn't. All right, I'll get rid of that. Why did I name you? You go away. There we go. All right, sphere. Don't fail me now. There's one sphere. Ooh, I'm gonna make you bigger. Bigger sphere. All right, copy paste. Smaller sphere. Ooh, yeah. Will it work? Eh, not the way I wanted. There we go. We're gonna do it like this. And we'll make you blue just to Add some spice to life. All right. And, all right, oh, click. So we know that the radius of the inner one is two. And we have 6.72 charge. And a conducting spherical shell of radius four and enter radius five. So it's basically gonna be like this, four and five. Not drawn to scale. And this guy has 6.72 times 10 to the negative six microcoulombs. First one's a sphere, so it's solid, okay? Conducting, specifically conducting. And we have three negative 3.18. Negative 3.18 times 10 to the negative 6. All right. I think the hardest part of this problem is going to be drawing the picture. Find the electric field at the following radii. All right. I guess I sound kind of cocky when I say that because I did a great job drawing that picture. All right. So first, bam, going to be zero. Just like the other two problems, there's another couple problems like this where it's like, Ah, first problem, something, something shape, electric field, zero. All right, so the idea here is the electric field inside a conductor, the net electric field inside any conductor will always be zero. It doesn't have to be spherical, it can be any funny shape. As long as you're inside the conductor, um, it's gonna be zero. Now, just as a caveat to make life true, uh, you have a giant sphere like this, and when I say all the charges, like let's say positive charges are at the surface, um, you know, there's nothing in life that's actually two dimensional. Maybe shadows. Are shadows? Never mind. It's, it's not important. Oh, man. Not important. Shadows are not, they're not two dimensional because they, they're actually covering. You only see the part that you see is two dimensional. Not important. So nothing in life is two dimensional. And so all the positive charges are not actually on the surface, so to speak. There's a small, uh, I think it's called like the skin effect. So like when you run a current through a wire, the current's gonna be on the outside of the wire. The inside of the wire is actually gonna have no charge. That's why thicker wires necess aren't necessarily all that much, as much better as you would think they would be. Uh, they're better because they have more surface area on the outside of the wire, but you're probably better off using multiple smaller wires than one big thick wire. Um, but this distance here is measured in like micrometers. I, I am not truly familiar with this. This is just my guess. Eh, I'm based on, um, when they say the surface, they mean mostly surface. When we're talking about centimeters, this is a very small, small amount that we basically ignore. All right, perfect. So now, Got that technicality out of the way. So when we're talking about 
one centimeter and we have a two centimeter sphere, this right here is going to be definitely inside the conductor. So it will be zero and there will be none. All right, so then they want to ask us, at three centimeters, what is the electric field? Oop, this will be three centimeters. And we draw a Gaussian surface. And we're going to say that flux equals Q enclosed over epsilon naught, which equals surface integral of E dot dA. I'm going to skip some steps because we've done this a billion times at this point. By billion, I mean probably three or four. Equals K, Q, and I'm going to write this as Q enclosed over R squared. So the Q enclosed then is going to be the charge due to the um, 6.72 microcoulombs on the inner sphere. So we're going to have 8.99 times 10 to the 9th times 6.72 times 10 to the negative 6 over r squared, where r is 3 centimeters. So I'm going to say that's uh, 3 centimeters equals 3 times 10 to the negative second meters. So when we square that, we're going to get 3 squared and then 10 to the negative fourth. That will just make it easier for me to simplify a little bit. 10 to the negative fourth on the bottom is the same as 10 to the fourth on the top. So this is going to be 8.99 times 6.72 times 10 to the, um, so 9 minus 6 is 3. 3 plus 4 is 7 times 10 to the seventh over 3 squared, which is 9. Now here, eh, if I was a better person, I wouldn't do this, but I'm not. So I'm going to say that 8.99 is pretty much 9, so I'm going to cancel those out. I'm going to say the answer is 6.72 times 10 to the seventh. Yeah, that's exactly. I'm going to say this is 6.72 times 7 to the seventh. 72 times 10 to the seventh. Because that equals 1, 6.72 times 10 to the seventh. And this is going to be Newtons per Coulomb. All right. That was the idea for part B. Now part C, 4.5 centimeters. All right, so this is the trick where they're going to try and get you. So 4.5 centimeters is between the inner the start of the outer shell and the end of the outer shell. So it's between these two points. It is inside this red portion right here, 4.5. So I'm going to draw that in real quick. I don't need to draw it in, but I want to. i got to go in and do this super careful. See, I already messed up. There we go. And bam, right there, 4.5 centimeters. <laughs> it's like drawing with a giant Sharpie. All right, so that's going to be inside a conductor. Is it a conducting spherical shell? It is a conducting spherical shell. All right, so it's inside a conductor. There is no net electric field inside a conductor. Bam, zero, also zero, and none. And the first guy was a positive charge, so it's going to be outward. All right, now seven centimeters. Seven centimeters is outside both of them. So, 7 centimeters. So I'm going to use the idea of Gauss's law and then skip straight to this step again. So realize that I am using Gauss's law. I've just done it a few times, so I understand how to simplify it. Um, if I did this on a test, the way I would do it is I would do it exactly like this. Use Gauss's law and then skip to that step. Um, yeah, that's exactly what I do because you don't have... They might just allow you to skip straight to that step, but yeah, it's a better idea just to do it that way. All right, so electric field equals K Q enclosed 
over r squared, where r this time is going to be 7 centimeters, and q in close is going to be um, 6.72 minus 3.18. So 6.72 minus 3.18. And that gives us 3.54. So we're going to have 3.54. And that's micro or nano? Ah, now it's so small I can't see it. How ironic. Micro times 10 to the negative 6. times 8.99 times 10 to the 9th over r, which is 7. So I'm going to say 49, which is 7 squared, times 10 to the negative 4th. I'm going to move 10 to the negative 4th to the top. So 10 to the 4th. Um, uh, 9 minus 6 is 3. 3 plus 4 is 7. So I'm going to do 8.99 times 3.54 divided by 49 times 10 to the 7th, which equals, I'm going to Wolfram this guy, 8.99 times 3.54 divided by 49. Mm, I'll do times 10 to the 7th. That way it just does all the conversion. 6.49 6 times 10 to the minus 8th. Okay? 6.49. Ah. All right, Wolfram, let's try that again. 6.49 times 10 to the 6th. And also be Newton's per coulomb, which should be smaller than our previous answer. Yes, it is smaller than our previous answer. Yep. 6.49 times 10 to the 6th. Scooch back over here. 6.49 times 10 to the 6. And this is also going to be outward. The reason it's going to be outward is because even though we have a positive charge and a negative charge, the positive charge is bigger than the negative charge. So the Q enclosed is going to be overall positive. And that will be the concentric spherical spheres. Concentric spheres problem or shells. Ah, because there's a sphere and a shell. Now important. You guys get the idea. All right. So that is it for the homework this week. And I will see you guys next week. Take care.